Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I just want to make a quick video on this quiet Sunday afternoon. I'm, I'm walking the dog. Hello, dog. And I thought, I was thinking about the week ahead and all the stuff that's going on at Corona, and I just wanted to kind of give you a quick update as to what's going on. So, uh, first of all, we're working on a revamp of the website. Uh, we're going to update the information that's there. We're going to update the look and feel of it. But most importantly, what we're going to do is address uh, making it as easy as possible for someone to uh, download Corona. So, uh, so imagine you know being able to come there, evaluate what Corona is, what it does, what the features it has, and then just being able to download it like instantly. Um, we're working on that. We want to make that as friction-free as possible. The other thing that we're working on is training. So when you have decided that Corona is your thing, then you can go in and start learning as much as possible. Uh, get up to speed as quickly as possible. So, you know, be able to go through some samples, uh, pop open some templates, look at some sample code, uh, things like that. Now, now Corona comes with um, you know, you know, sample code, but these, these, they're all little snippets, right? They're just uh, little disconnected pieces, you know, how to use networking, how to use display objects, how to handle touch events, uh, those types of things. But what we want to add to the site is are some um, more robust examples, you know, maybe some platformer stuff, maybe some, uh, some, some just full game examples, some full business app examples, some full utility app examples. So that way someone can kind of open it up, see how the f uh, folder structure is for the, the project, see, um, you know, how uh, the code is structured, see, you know, just, just be able to, you know, imagine being able to take a, a, a platformer template and being able to start from there right so you're like hey i don't have to um i don't have to spend a lot of time trying to understand the concepts of how to put this thing together i've got kind of a boilerplate that i can go and start from i can swap out some graphics i can i can add on features as i see fit and and, and that sort of thing so so that's the, the second part right so so evaluating the product uh getting up to speed as quickly as possible on it and and then the fourth, or the third, the fourth part, and lastly, no, the third part is uh, we want to make it to where if you're already in the community, community, if you're already a developer, Corona developer, you've already decided that this is your product that you want to use and you're, you're going to be there day to day, we want to make sure that you have the tools that you need uh, to answer your questions as quickly as possible because it's all about speed. Everything, you know, we, we always say on the website, you can develop 10 times faster. Well, it's not just... <laughs> It's not just a, come on, Pancho. He's not interested in you. He wants to make a snack out of you. So uh, it's not just how how fast you can learn the code. That was like, surprising, wasn't it? Uh, it's not just how fast you can learn the code. It's not just how fast you can iterate, um, how fast you can publish. I mean, it's all of those things. All of those things together is what makes Corona so great. So one of the things we want to do is make sure that you can um, get access to the development tools that you need as quickly as possible, right? So so things like the forums, things like guides, things like documentation, um, things like um, you know the asset store or the, the marketplace. We're going to be calling it the marketplace. Um, you, all these things that can kind of help you help speed up things. You're already a developer. You're already there. Uh, there should be a developer section of the site. Um, so, you know, there, basically there's a marketing side of the site that helps you make your decision to use the product. There's a learning part of the site to help you get up to speed and then, and then a, a more of a developer part of the site that would help you, um, do, do, you know, use the tool on, on a day to day. And so that's, that's what we're doing with the website. We're going to, we've already got the mock-ups. We're going to revamp everything. Um, it's going to start out uh, as quickly as possible and uh, we're going to be iterating on that and the second thing that we're working on is a bunch of plugins so we've got uh if you guys haven't seen we've, we we hired sergey sergey lurg from the community he's been on corona geek for a long time does uh has done like i don't even know maybe like nine plugins in the plugin uh section of the site um and so he's going to be doing plugins uh and he's also going to be helping out with sample the sample code the sample projects so um, I don't know if you guys, if you've been in the community a while, you've seen Ghost versus Monsters. Uh, we're, re we're revamping that uh, sample. Uh, we're going to revamp a bunch of the other samples. Uh, I don't have them in front of me at the moment, but but there's a bunch of other samples. We're going to be pulling them all into a repo where on GitHub where where you can get access to them and see how the, the projects are put together um, and see the different concepts in action. 
Uh, but anyway, Sergey's going to be helping us with that, so we're going to be really pushing out a bunch of plugins coming up here pretty quick. We've got uh, uh, the Facebook uh, audience network. We've got like um, you know face -based Facebook ads. Uh, we've got a plugin in the works for that. Uh, we're going to bring back the Chart Boost plugin. Uh, what else is there? There's just a uh, I can't, again. I don't have the list in front of me, but there's a, there's a bunch of plugins that are in the works right now that are we're, we're going to be pushing pushing out. Uh, that's going to happen. Uh, some of those are going to happen in the first part of January or the middle middle of the end part of January. Uh, some of them are going to come out in February. Uh, so we're going to be pushing that pretty quick. Uh, what is else? What else is happening? We've got um, we've got that going on. We're also going to be going to events. Uh, we're going to be going to GDC. Uh, we're going to go to Apps World. Uh, we're going to go to meetups. We're going to go to you know to, to local meetups and, and meetups across the country and um, speak to groups. Um, we're also going to work with uh, Dr. Burton, who is down in Abilene, and he's going to help us with getting into educational institutions. So we're going to uh, make a push to do that as well. So we're going to go to uh, educational events, talk with educators. Um, we're going to try to uh, you know just expand our reach in those areas. Uh, what else? I have a whole document. I, I put together this whole document of, of things that we have just we've had initiatives to do over the years, um, but we just never had the resources to do. So, well, one of the other things is, is that we hired Chris Byerly. So uh, again, if you are you've been in the community a while, you would know that Chris Byerly is the developer of Coronium, which is a cloud-based um, Lua-based solution that you can use to create uh, um, you know sort of your server-side code. So let's say if you want to do a leaderboard or if you want to do some sort of real-time or, or multiplayer um, uh, interactions uh, uh, or if you want to have some just some sort of cloud logic to your application, uh, you can do that with Coronium. And it's all Lua-based, so you're writing, you know, you're having a, a parity between the platforms. So you've got Lua on the server and you also have Lua on the client. So you don't have to, you know, you don't have to learn uh, different languages. You don't have to write PHP and then write Lua on the device and then try to marry them together. You can just write Lua in both places. So that's um, that's really exciting. So so Chris is part of the team now. Uh, he's going to be over the cloud, uh, our cloud initiative, and uh, continue to build on Coronium and do all, you know continue with the great work that he's done. And you know he's just been a, a fantastic asset to the community. Uh, he created Chromium all by himself. He did all the documentation. He did the training videos. He's created AMI packages on Amazon so that you could do, you know, these one-button installs, uh, set up your environment, and get Chromium running like, you know, push-button simple. Um, so that's having him on the team is going to be a great addition. Um, and then there's just a bunch of things. We are just working on so many things, and uh, and now we have the resources to do that. So we've hired, you know, we've hired people. Uh, as, as full-time resources. Um, uh, Perk is bringing a lot of resources to the table already. You know, they have a team uh, of developers in uh, Bangalore, India. Uh, there is an, a, a team of uh, Perk developers uh, and uh, a marketing team and support team and all this other stuff in Austin. And then, you know, they have an office in uh, Waterloo. So there's just there's just all these resources that we didn't have before. So it's kind of great to be able to add resources to Corona, but also be able to uh, benefit from the existing resources that are in Perk. So so that's all. It's all very exciting. It's all all very cool. Um, so anyway, I don't want this video to get too long, and I'm I'm uh, I'm trying to blank on all the other things that we got going on because there's there's so much of it. But I I will make additional videos to kind of keep you guys updated on, on what's going on. Uh, because one of the things that, that I want to do personally is be more, um, not you know, well, yeah, be more transparent. I want to be more transparent as to what's going on. You know, a lot of times in the past, we have, we've been limited on resources. Um, we haven't you know, wanted to, to come out and publicly promise anything because, um, you know, we were just sort of short staffed and we didn't want to set up expectations and, and, and disappoint anybody. And, and, uh, and so we were kind of, we would announce things when we were absolutely sure of them, but you know, that, that kind of left gaps in communication and made, made, you know, just made it awkward at times. So I really want to be a lot more transparent. I want to be a lot more vocal. Uh, I want to say a lot more so that you guys kind of know what's going on and we can all be excited together because I feel really, really great about what's going on at Corona and Perk. And um, it's, it's just the best time so far, you know, for, for Corona. Hey, another friend. So that's... 
There's a dog park. There's a dog park here, and there's all these people. So, uh, uh, well, as I was saying, you know, this is like like the best part time to ever have to have been at Corona because uh, I've been telling people, look, you know, Corona started as a sort of a, a garage project. Uh, it went through a round of of, of funding, venture capital funding. Um, then the acquisition with Fuse happened. Uh, and now we are at a point where I feel like, you know, it's not really about venture capital money. It's not really about um, uh, somebody else's vision. You know, it's about uh, we're in a place where Corona is really appreciated as a, as a tool, as, as the, the, the development resource that it is. And it's a part of somebody's business and it's really going to just grow from here. So I'm really, really very excited. So I just want to share that with you guys on an ongoing basis so that we all kind of know what's going on. All right. So that's it. Have a great week. Uh, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.